If you go down in the woods today, you're sure of a big surprise. If you go down in the woods today, you better go in disguise. For every bear that ever there was will gather there for certain because today's good day. Teddy bears have their picnics. Every teddy bear who's been good is sure of a treat today. There's lots of marvelous things to eat and wonderful games to play. Beneath the trees where nobody sees, they hide and seek as long as they please. And that's the way teddy bears have their picnic. everybody, I'm Miss Dara and I'm here with my teddy bear. Do you have a special teddy bear or a lovey or a stuffed animal that you like to cuddle? Why don't you go and get your teddy bear and maybe a snack or a lunch and let's have a picnic. If you're looking for a buddy with a hug to share and everyone around too busy to care don't you fret and worry, don't you go and hide under the rug. You go find yourself a teddy and give the bear a great big hug. Teddy bear hug, when you really need a teddy bear hug. Very soft and furry teddy bear hug. Teddy's always ready with the bear. Big bears and small bears, short bears and tall bears, mama bears and papa bears too. Brown bears and white bears, day bears and night bears, doing what good bears like to do. Fuzzy bears and wuzzy bears, all with the cattle for you. was a bear. Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. Fuzzy Wuzzy wasn't fuzzy, was he? Bears like to sleep the winter away, but in the spring, bears wake up and they lumber out of their cozy winter lair. Can you make a fist with your hand like that? Let's pretend that's the bear's cave. And wiggle your thumb. Where's your thumb? And we're going to stick it inside your fist. So here is the cave. Inside is the bear. Now he comes out to get fresh air. Here he comes. Boop! Let's try that one more time. Shake out your hand. Here is the cave. Inside is the bear. Now he comes out to get fresh air. Boop! And the bear looks this way. And that way, looking for something good to eat. Did you ever see a teddy, a teddy, a teddy? Did you ever see a teddy go this way and that? Go this way and that? Teddy bear, what will you eat? 
maybe some honey or berries so sweet? I like honey, I like honey, bears do too, bears do too. Watch out for the bees, watch out for the bees, so they don't sting you, they don't sting you. One little bear, wondering what to do, along comes another, and now we have two. safer if the bears go hunting for berries instead of honey. Here they go round the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush. Here they go round the mulberry bush so early in the morning. This is the way they pick the berries, pick the berries, pick the berries. This is the way they pick the berries so early bears would love to eat any kind of berry that they can find. Maybe blueberries, or raspberries, or strawberries. Bears love them all. Do you like berries too? Do you like berries like I We have a story about all kinds of berries. I wonder how many berries you've had to eat. This book is called Jamberry and it's by Bruce Deegan. One berry, two berry, pick me a blueberry. Hatberry, shoeberry, in my canoe berry. Under the bridge and over the dam, looking for berries, berries for a jam. Three berry, four berry, hay berry, strawberry, finger and paw berry, my berry, your berry. Strawberry ponies, strawberry lambs, dancing in meadows of strawberry jam. Quickberry, quackberry, pick me a blackberry. Trainberry, trackberry, clickety clackberry. Rumble and ramble in blackberry bramble, billions of berries for blackberry jamble. Raspberry, jazzberry, razzmatazzberry, berry band, merry band, jamming in berryland. Raspberry rabbits, brassberry band, elephants skating on raspberry jam. Moonberry, starberry, cloudberry sky, boomberry. Zoomberry, rocket shoot by. Mountains and fountains rain down on me, buried in berries. What a jam, jamboree. And that's a story called Jamberry. So many berries, so delicious. 
Do you have a favorite berry? One of my favorite berries is a strawberry. I like to pick them. I like to eat them whole. I like to make strawberry jam out of them. They start out like this. And they end up like this. We put the berries in a bowl and we smush them down. We mash them. That's the way we make the jam. This is the way we make the jam. Make the jam. Make the jam. This is the way we make the jam so early in the morning. This is the way we spread the jam. Spread the jam, spread the jam. This is the way we spread the jam so early in the morning. This is the way we eat the jam. Jam on bread, jam on bread. This is the way we eat the jam so early in the morning. Can you do the rhythm of your hands? Here we go. Patty cake, patty cake. Baker Bear, bake me a cake for us to share. You roll it and pat it and mark it with a B and put it in the oven for baby and me. Good job. Look at this gigantic strawberry that I found. Yum. I'm afraid bears aren't the only ones who love strawberries. Whoops! Look who's hiding inside. Hello there, berry bug. Say hi to all my friends. He's hiding inside and nibbling his way through this very delicious strawberry. Pika! Boop! Maybe all the teddy bears should go find another berry patch and we'll leave you alone to eat your berry. Would you like that? Okay. Here he goes. The bear went over the mountain. The bear went over the mountain. The bear went over the mountain to see what he could see. To see what he could see. To see what he could see. The bear went over the mountain to see what he could see. He found a teddy bear's picnic. He found a teddy bear's picnic. picnic. What should we bring? I just happen to have my picnic basket right over here. Let's see if I packed anything good to eat. Ooh, I have a sandwich. Bologna, cheese on a roll, very delicious. I have a cup for lemonade. Mmm, oh, that's good. All right. I also have, oh, one of my favorites, some cookies, chocolate chip, little mini M&M cookies, and what's a picnic without some berries? Maybe we can feed the bears if they come by. All those good things for our picnic. Maybe you have other foods that you like to bring when you have a picnic outside. We'll stay all day. Well, did we bring the sandwiches? Yeah, we brought the sandwiches. We're ready for a picnic. Here we go. Going on a picnic, leaving right away. And if it doesn't rain, we'll stay all day. Well, do we have some lemonade? Yes, we have some lemonade. We're ready for a picnic. Here we're going on a picnic, leaving right away. And if it doesn't rain, 
we'll stay all day. Well, do we have some cookies? Yeah, we have some cookies. We're ready for a picnic. Here we go. Going on a picnic, leaving right away. And if it doesn't rain, we'll stay all day. Well, did we bring the strawberries? Yes, we brought the strawberries. We're ready for a picnic. Here we go. We're going on a picnic, leaving right away. And if it doesn't rain, we'll stay all day. Well, do you have a favorite food that you'd bring on a picnic? Tell me, what's your favorite food? We're ready for a picnic. Here Now, I have a friend named Jellyman Kelly, and I guess you can tell by his name that if he were coming to a picnic, his favorite food to bring would be strawberry jelly on toast. And he'd have it with a spot of tea for his picnic. Well, here's a story about Jellyman Kelly. He loves jelly the most, oh, but most of all, Jelly Man Kelly loves jelly on toast. And here's the part about Jenny Mulhenny. Well, she is a fireman's daughter, oh, but most of all, Jenny Mulhenny likes to boil hot water. So Jenny put the kettle on, Jelly Man Kelly, won't you come? Jelly, won't you come? Jenny, put the kettle on. Jelly Man Kelly, won't you come home? Jelly, won't you come? Oh, can he come home, Jenny? Can he come home, Jenny? Can he come? Oh, can he come home, Jenny? Can he come home, Jenny? Can he come? Well, that's the story of Jelly Man Kelly. Still loves jelly, and then maybe someday you and me friend can have tea with him. So Jenny, put the kettle on, Jelly Man Kelly, won't you come home, Jenny? Won't you come? Jenny, put the kettle on, Jelly Man Kelly, won't you come home, Jelly? Won't you come? I think it's fair to say that everyone likes to go on a picnic and everyone has their favorite food to eat on a picnic from the biggest bear to the tiniest little mouse. And we have a story about the biggest bear and a tiny mouse and it's called The Little Mouse, The Red Ripe Strawberry and The Big Hungry Bear. It's by Don and Audrey Wood. Hello, little mouse. What are you doing? Oh, I see. Are you going to pick that red ripe strawberry? But little mouse, haven't you heard about the big hungry bear? Oh, how that bear loves red ripe strawberries. The big hungry bear can smell a red ripe strawberry a mile away. Especially one that has just been picked. Boom! 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 The bear will tromp through the forest on his big hungry feet and sniff, sniff, find that strawberry. No matter where it is hidden. 
or who is guarding it, or how it is disguised. Quick, there's only one way in the whole wide world to save a red ripe strawberry from the big hungry bear. Cut it in two. Share half with me. And we'll both eat it all up. Yum. So, someone is telling that little mouse the best way to hide that huge red ripe strawberry, but the big hungry bear will find it, even if the little mouse hides it under a pile of mud, or chains it up, and even if he puts a silly disguise on it. But the best way this mysterious voice says to ensure that the big hungry bear does not steal the entire strawberry is to cut the strawberry into two pieces and share half with me. Who? Who's me? Who's telling the mouse to do that? Well, take a look at the back of the book Oh, there's the shadow of the big hungry bear. Do you think maybe the bear tricked the little mouse into sharing half of that strawberry with him? In any event, it's almost time for all the little teddy bears and all the children to head for home. We've had a busy day at our teddy bear's picnic. Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn around. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the ground. Teddy bear, teddy bear, drink some tea. Teddy bear, teddy bear, pat your knee. Teddy bear, teddy bear, reach up high. Teddy bear, teddy bear, wave goodbye. Teddy bear, teddy bear, pat your head. Teddy bear, teddy bear, time for bed. Teddy, don't you know it's bedtime for all the little bears? Aren't you sleepy? Time for all the big bears and the little bears to go to sleep. Look at Teddy, he's so tired. He's been playing very hard. Little Teddy needs his sleep, but bears aren't good at counting sheep. So I'll tell you what to do. Don't you 
peek Cause he'll see you Close your eyes And he will too Close your eyes Close your eyes Close your eyes See you next time, everybody.